The central hypothesis of inside bureaucracy is that the social functions of a bureaucracy are strongly influenced by its internal structure, and vice versa. In support of that, the book describes how bureaucracies are born and mature, and how they develop communication channels and methods of internal control. The goal of Inside Bureaucracy, by Down's own admission, is to initiate part of a larger theoretical model of bureaucracies, one that is established fundamentally on theory rather than research based on practice or observations. To do so, Downs has to make some assumptions to ground himself and build a solid foundation for bureaucratic theory. The primary assumption is that bureaucratic officials, like public servants or military members, act rationally to reach their goals. Their goals, motivations, experiences, processes, information, those all vary, and the outcomes and implications of that are all explored throughout the book. But the fundamental assumption is that they act rationally. You could argue to what degree that's actually true or true enough to count on, but it's a fairly common assumption regardless. Downs also includes a softer assumption by stating that bureaucratic officials are generally self interested, even when acting in benevolent bureaucracies that benefit society. That's not to say that they just want a bigger paycheck. Some want a better community to live in or be recognized for improving the world. But in a very conventional economist way, Downs categorizes those as being self interested. With those assumptions, Downs developed 16 laws for these model bureaucracies, broadly categorized by the changes in innovation over time and the changes to control over time. There's a brief extract in the description of this video、uh, for the purposes of reviewing this book. Copyrights. <laughs> and, and if you're reading these laws and you find yourself asking, Scott, why are these in such a weird order and interrelated in unclear ways? Please remember that I can't hear you. This is pre recorded. But that is a sound critique of Inside's bureaucracy structure as described in the first chapter. Many of these laws ebb and flow throughout the book and rely on future chapters to fully substantiate or support. This format for the book is、uh, not great, but it is necessarily abstract and at times arbitrary, according to Downs himself. A distilled functional theoretical text on bureaucratic theory had not yet been developed, prompting Downs to, to begin this research. And I think the study of public administration benefits from having those nuclei, like bureaucracies tend to centralize control. But arriving at those from a theoretical approach rather than observation is easier with some meandering. I've mitigated that as much as I can for these videos, but you'll still have to bear with me for parts. <laughs>